hey guys welcome back to stockman closet for today's project i have taken two meter rayon fabric and this is the measurement i'm using you can adjust it according to your requirement firstly i'll fold the fabric by half in length like this this is on full side and here i have two layers of fabric i'll take on fold side as the length of salwar and again i'll fold the fabric by half in width like this i'll just trim the uneven fabric on this side So here I have four layers of fabric and now I'll mark the measurement. Firstly, I'll mark the length which will be salwar length plus elastic waistband plus bottom round seam allowance. In my measurement, salwar length is 37 inch. I'm taking elastic waistband 2.5 inch and bottom round seam allowance 1.5 inch. So total will be 41 inch. So here I am taking salwar length 41 inch. I will just trim out the excess fabric. Now I will mark the crotch which is 17 inch including 2.5 inch for elastic waistband. And here I will mark bottom round measurement which is 9.5 inch including half inch for seam allowance. Join these points. And with this salwar marking is complete. Now I'll cut it out. On this piece, I'll make stitch on this side. I'll just join both pieces, right sides together. Like this. Now I'll pin it up. And I'll make a stitch on this side. And this is how the salwar looks after cutting. Now I'll cut the pocket and for that I have taken this contrast color fabric. Length is 20 and a half inch. And width is 8 and a half inch. This is on fold fabric. And now again I'll fold it by half like this and now place hand to give shape of pocket like this and now I'll cut it out so I've cut out the pocket I've cut two pieces for each side. Now from the top mark a point at 6 inch. This will be the starting point for the pocket. Place the pocket on the salwar right sides together. Match the starting point. And now I'll make a stitch to attach the pocket with the salwar. Similarly, I'll attach pocket on all four sides. So I have attached the pocket. Now I'll make the side stitch. Join front and back of salwar, right sides together and make a side stitch like this.
so I made a stitch now mark tuck on the corner of the pocket like this and now I'll overlock it So I have overlocked it. Now I'll make stitch on this piece. So I made a stitch. Now I'll overlock it. And this is how it will look. Now I'll join it with the salwar. Take stitched line, take stitched line as center and join it with the crotch right sides together and I'll pin it up like this. Similarly, I'll pin up the other side. So I have pinned it up. Now I'll make a stitch. So I made a stitch. Similarly, I'll attach the other side. Now I'll attach the elastic. I've taken elastic according to the waist round measurement. That is 30 inch for my measurement. And now I'll join both ends of elastic and I'll make a stitch to secure it. So I made a stitch and now I'll mark center point on all four sides of elastic and now I'll mark center points on and now I'll mark center points on the silver Now join center point of both elastic and silver on the wrong sides and pin it up. And now I'll make a stitch. So I'm joining elastic with the silver using zigzag stitch. Start stitching from one center point and hold the next center point. Stretch the elastic and continue the stitch. I'm just showing another method to attach elastic. You can use usual casing method. So I have attached the elastic using zigzag stitch. Now fold the elastic like this, stretch it and make a stitch above the zigzag stitch to secure it.
so i have attached the elastic now i'll make top stitch to give more finishing to the elastic waistband so i made a stitch and this is how it will look it's really a quick and easy method you can give it a try now lastly i'll finish the bottom round and for that just double fold the seam allowance like this and make a stitch on the inner edge to secure it So I finished the bottom round and with this my harem style salwar is ready and this is how it looks. It's really comfortable. I can wear it 24-7. Just choose lightweight fabric to get good falls and give it a try. Share your creations with me on social media. And thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this pattern. If you do give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And do subscribe my channel for more such videos. I'll see you next week. Till then take care. Bye bye.